Good morning guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Jim, here's an RV10 update. I did finally get the uh, gap seals installed on the rear spars of the wings. I was able to uh, set the, the rivets here with conventional rivets. Uh, I'm able to reach through the holes here at the end of the wing to get those. Those are sort of critical in my opinion. You, uh, you can use a, a countersink version of a a steel rivet, a uh, blind rivet there if you want to, and, and Vans confirmed all this in an email. They're built similar to, I guess, the RV7 wings are done this way. Then there's other spots here that use a, a more common, this is again a steel blind rivet. Um, I'll show you the number of that here in a bit, but uh, if you're in the same scenario as me, you should go ahead and get a hold of Vans through their support uh, and uh, find out for sure what they suggest. Uh, but that turned into be not too bad of a problem. I was able to reach in some of the other spots and did the ones that I could actually reach. Um, here, let me show you the, the rivets. was a MS, these MS P42s. Um, they're a uh, steel rivet, and if it focuses here, you'll see that there's a little serration on the pole stem, and then this is a steel rivet. And the length is uh, appropriate for that. Uh, grip link. Um, the current project I'm working on is the uh, roll servo for the right wing. Um, one of the things I didn't do that uh, the suggestion uh, if you're coming up to this, um, I ordered the sensor kit. I'm doing Garmin stuff, the G3X panels and, and all the Garmin autopilot and all that. When you order your, I ordered the sensor kit so that I'd have some of these things like the magnetometer and uh, the AHARs and the servos so that when you're building the structure you can install some of this stuff before you close it up. And I should have ordered this uh, servo mounting kit at the time and I did not. I didn't think about it. I had the, the bracket for the, the pitch servo so that's part of my excuse but bottom line is I should order this stuff. Um, I kind of thought about trying to make it. This is the bracket that you buy. It's uh, painted now. It came unpainted, so I, uh, it would look different. But that bracket replaces this bracket as the stock bracket if you didn't have an autopilot servo in there. Um, so it, it matches up here, and then it's longer so that the servo will attach over in that spot there. Um, thought about making that myself. Uh, the steel bracket wouldn't have been too hard to do. Match drilling the holes and getting that right would have been okay. Um, then you'd have to, uh, so these are some of the parts, I guess these are the parts that came in the, the kit. It was 75 bucks, which isn't bad if you're sourcing the material. Um, I don't know how much the rod bearings are probably the most expensive part of it. Uh, so you get the two rod bearings, a bunch of nuts and bolts, washers, the large area washers to capture the, the rod bearings if those fail. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling on. Uh, that's where I'm at, working on that, trying to get the wings out of the garage so that I got room to put the car back in here. And uh, that's it. Uh, this is something that I should have looked at and it would have helped me decide whether or not I could have built this stuff myself or, or paid the 75 bucks to order it. So um, it took me a while to get back in uh, gear here and figure that out. But that's where we're at. See you next time.